Hi friends, hope you're doing well. I'm Dr. Melin. So in today's video, I'm going to summarize all the high yield topics from different subjects. These videos I have already released, but a lot of students have been asking uh, for this topic. So I'm not able to put PDF. So I'll just go through uh, quickly all the slides and uh, tell you some important points in between. So let's start about uh, these high yield topics are uh, actually from the previously asked questions and those topics which are repeatedly asked over the last five years. So uh, whenever you are revising, you can make sure you don't miss on those topics. So uh, these topics do not include all the topics, but the topics that you should not miss uh, while reading. So let's start uh, today's discussion. The first subject is uh, medicine. So it's like a big four. So first, what uh, you'll see that connective tissue disorders, vasculitis, uh, diagnostic markers related to it, uh, its pharmacology, histopathology and radiological appearance is again a very important topic. And again, you will get a lot of questions from that, followed by acid-based select uh, disorders, ABG interpretation, cause and their management, like certain formulas are asked. So basically, fluid and electrolytes had a very good weightage in uh, in last year, uh, NIT PG as well, and also in uh, INN. Following that, you will have a cardiovascular diseases, followed by hemato hematology, Simple questions about anemias. Again, a lot of students do mistake in that. Then about peripheral smears, you will get images of peripheral smear and you will be asked to diagnose. These things that you should be aware, thrombocytopenias like TTPs, ITPs, you should know, coagulopathies. Followed by oncology, endocrinology. And in endocrinology, you will have thyroid as important. You must know everything, pituitary, adrenal, and then uh, particular drugs used in endocrinology. In CNS, stroke and infections are uh, maximally asked. CNS pharmacology, it will have a overlap with your pharmacology and then uh, other uh, degenerative disorders might be asked. Infection, not all infections are asked, but there is always a weightage for TB, reset advances, TB treatment and diagnosis, HIV always examined as favorite, malaria and recently COVID uh, questions were missing, but you can expect some COVID questions as well. And then some miscellaneous topics like pleural diseases, interstitial lung diseases, pneumothorax, uh, sarcoidosis like illnesses and other uh, uh, diseases which are particularly I have mentioned and there have been questions asked in recent past. And in the genital urinary system, nephrotic syndrome sometimes asked. Uh, drugs are very important. In nephrology, drugs are the most important. RTA, renotipular acidosis, very important. CKD, very important. So you can go through this order and whatever order I have given from 1 to 10. So this is a descending order of uh, importance. So you should basically start with these uh, areas first and you should make sure that your top areas are covered and then you can hurry up with the uh, re remaining parts then second is surgery to my surprise like you can see that in last five years breast and thyroid is always uh, most commonly asked areas from the uh, surgery and you can always rely on them even for net pg or inict followed by gi surgery gi surgery it's like huge but there are lots and lots of questions and very basic questions and image based questions are asked from gi surgery then trauma is again uh, have become uh, examiner's favorite in uh, recent uh, past. It can be about recent uh, like pneumothorax or uh, pleural diseases. Hernia again will come from GI surgery. Then urology, after GI surgery, urology and trauma are the most important parts. In urology, oncology is asked in surgery about uh, urethral injuries and their management, about prostate diseases and oncology is asked. In trauma and burns, they ask about the triage, resuscitation and emergency management. Trauma and burns, I have seen a lot of questions coming for INA specifically. So you should target that area. About wound repair and scar, at, uh, also vascular surgery. We'll get some questions. And uh, uh, there will be one, two questions from the oral cavity, slide, uh, salivary gland, CNS tumors, transplant machine. But these are miscellaneous. Like you can expect either one question or they can be missed. But top uh, five six areas you should not miss these are very important you should study in the descending order as i said then from psm psm is huge again you, you should be like uh, anything can be expected if you are preparing for ini biostatistics uh, biostatistics is something that you should always have your eye on because you'll get a lot of questions from biostatistics in the, and very important questions in ini so, uh, but these questions are very basic so if you are uh, well versed with your basics you will know then epidemiology of the disease, screening diseases, national programs, nutritional are again the most important parts. So you should follow this list and uh, you should make sure these 10 topics that you should not uh, miss. Then coming to obstetrics and gynecology. In obstetrics, see, in obstetrics and gynecology, we will observe a typical pattern. So first we'll uh, get the pelvic anatomy, fetal skull and all these related questions about the structure and the plas development of the placenta, labor as a process. So we'll get uh, very basic questions from this area. But 
again and again you will get these questions and about abortion mtp contraception ectopic pregnancy trophoblastic diseases this uh, oncological diseases again and hemorrhages and uh, specific diseases and their management protocols in pregnancy so you should be thorough with these areas and repeatedly questions are asked for gynecology again anatomy of the female genital tract and its embryology and development most important followed by menstruation and their related disorders abnormality of the genital tract again stds and uh, this uh, genital tract infections are very important topic mtp and contraception and clinical scenarios are given so this is these are the topics uh, again these are in the descending orders of importance and you should not miss whenever you are revising make sure you don't miss on these topics because questions are asked again and again coming to short subject dermatology so you'll get a maximum question from your first anatomy of the and histology of the skin then stds i think it is one of the most important question and you'll always have one to two questions from stds that's what i am again mentioning again it is all it has a overlap between your uh, gynecology dermatology and microbiology then typical skin disorders like psoriasis the types pemphigus and um, like atopic dermatitis again examiner's favorite dermatitis herpetiformis you'll get slides uh, neurocranial syndrome very important investigations like skin patch test and uh, skin biopsy they can ask and about tinian scabies also you get sometimes a uh, basic question but lot of navis related questions are asked in ini so this list you can uh, follow uh, for orthopedics for uh, neat named fractures are very important and you should know all the named fractures their types and named osteochondrosis you should be thorough nerve injuries test for ini very important for neat as well. metabolic disorders like rickets curvy pigets you should know pediatric orthopedics has a uh, dice i mean sometimes they ask sometimes they don't and uh, bone tumors and infections are again a very high yield topic so these are the topics you should do uh, from the short subject and you should give them more importance during your revision time coming to psychiatry again psychiatry there are always four five questions which are very specific again clinical scenario about mood and personality disorders pharmacology you have overlap with your uh, medicine and pharmacology so if you are well versed with that you can solve those questions schizophrenia about uh, this uh, eating have uh, disorders and some basic concepts and analytic questions you get from uh, psychiatry so if you are well versed with just definition and criteria of these disorders you'll get through you'll get uh, most of these questions uh, right anesthesia again a very small subject three four questions are asked but you should these are the topics like basic principle of anesthesia inhalation agents again uh, about side effect and their particular indications are asked iv agents uh, neuromuscular blockade their mechanism of action is asked the side effects are uh, asked circuits and scores uh, scores are very important i had done a lot of mistakes like malambatti score still haunts me i had done uh, mistake in that and the circuit sometimes asked machine sometimes asked and different routes of anesthesia they can be asked but this is a descending order so you should be first thorough with your basic principles coming to radiology first you should know the principles of x ray eog ct mri pet nuclear scan their indications and content indications first you should know and then individual uh, investigation what are their choice and whenever you are reading you don't have to uh, search them differently whenever you are reading the disorders you can go through that then certain scores and grading and radiotherapy also has certain weightage one two questions are asked fmt thanatology that is a uh, uh, i mean you have to first see the post mortem changes and decomposition so whatever changes Uh, like putrefaction uh, rigor mortis uh, when it appears what are the changes you see you should be thorough with that human versus other species identification very important question for ini all kind of injuries asphyxia injuries stabbing gunshots the details again very important and legal procedures law declaration again for ini and uh, neat very important and toxicology actually uh, if you ask about toxicology in neat sometimes uh, two three questions will come from toxicology one will be easy and two will be maybe like very difficult questions so toxicology that is why i have kept it uh, down the order because they are very difficult a lot of toxin difficult to remember but you should know the common ones and you should know the antidote and uh, clinical syndromes of the common uh, uh, toxins then coming to pediatrics uh, pediatrics again for ini is very important subject so you should be thorough with uh, growth and development mineral and vitamin deficiencies malnutrition it has a uh, overlap with biochemistry congenital heart disease some questions are asked fever with rash all rash related diseases in pediatrics are very important from leukemia uh, leukemias are asked from oncology anemias again uh, have a overlap with medicine and some endocrinology metabolic disorders genetics this can have like one to two questions but these are something you should be very thorough with the initial uh, topics end so anatomy of the larynx and internal ear is most important repeatedly questions will be asked from that and you should uh, see images as well infective ear pathologies are very important 
tumors of nose here larynx uh, in the recent past the tumors are again and again repeatedly asked they give the ct scan of nose ct scan of ear and uh, they will ask you to uh, they will ask you questions related to that no palsies again very important topic hearing assessment test you should know they might give you a graph to interpret uh, especially in nana then coming to the uh, rank building subject of the uh, of thermology has a, again it's like not uh, one of my not my favorite subject but you'll see they have a very vague question from anywhere they will ask but anatomy eye of the eye is a favorite topic like you'll have a question from that cataract again very important refraction related infected diseases of diseases of the eye be it a bacterial fungal viral or even immunological diseases are asked tumors of eye and orbit again very important now palsies and disorder of the eyeball eyeball movements are also very important topics followed by uh, rest so guys that's it uh, for the rank uh, building subject like anatomy physio biochemistry pathopharma and micro there are no important topics they are the most important subject i have seen again and again i have i don't say that there are some important topics that you should know everything from the rank building subject is very important and you should not miss anything so that is the reason you should not make a list but for this subject for the rest of subject i have given the high topics which you can go through and uh, you can make a checklist that you make sure that you don't miss on those topics for uh, first and second year prof uh, subject everything is important as i always say i wish you all the best and i hope it helps you take care